This program contains adult content. Parental discretion is advised. Today, inshallah ta'ala, a brother emailed me saying, you know, assalamu alaikum. I have discovered that my wife of five years is cheating on me. Anyone knows what the Prophet said about such a case? A man who his wife, she welcome any man to play with her? Anyone knows? The advice is this, bro. You drop her in a heartbeat. The Muslims are so good to call the Sheikh to ask him, Assalamu alaikum, brother. Brother, is it okay to shave under arm in the front of my wife? A brother, she is your lawful spouse and it's okay for you to shave your ar under arm in the front of her. Thank you, brother. I was really afraid to do that. Another call. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. A brother, my wife, she don't mind any man to touch her and to play with her brother what what my wife brother she don't mind any brother to touch her and to play with her and you know exactly what i'm talking about the brother oh brother that's very horrible so she don't mind at all yes brother she don't mind at all hey, brother can you leave for us your address under the air Brother, why you want my address? A brother just to visit you. Anyone knows what the Prophet said about such a case? A man who his wife, she welcome any man to play with her? Anyone knows? Let me show you. This is not a radio station. I'm, I'm just making it as it's a radio station and phone call. But in fact, it's not. It is a Muslim guy who came to the Prophet and asked him that my wife, she don't mind that anyone he do uh, you know a man come to the messenger of allah and said prophet my wife does not object anyone to touch her that person is evil filthy sinner transgressor <laughs> the prophet said uh-huh where do you live buddy where do you live a brother, I live next to the pharmacy door. If you go to the pharmacy next to the bus station, go walk seven steps, you will find a door. It says, stupid idiot. Okay, brother, I will visit you from time to time. I promise you. I promise you I'm coming to your house. So his wife, she does not object. If anyone touch her, he said, Muhammad, okay, divorce her if you wish. The man, he said, I'm afraid I will miss her. What is wrong with brothers who catch their wives cheating and they're like, I don't know what to do. What do you mean you don't know what to do? Drop her. Where is your self-respect? Where is your rujuna? Where is your manhood? The prophet said, then stay with her as much as you need to. <laughs> Actually, the translation is super duper false. The prophet he said, Qala biha ma shit. Enjoy her then. The prophet of Islam giving a moral answer, ethical answer. The guy, he have a wife, she obviously, she is a whore. She sleep with everybody. Complaining for the prophet. The prophet said to him, okay, well, as long as she is like that, divorce her. The man, he said, well, I, I, you know, I'm going to miss her. You know, I like her. Muhammad, he said to them, he said, okay, well, then enjoy her as much as you can. So, which means Muhammad is giving him the idea, enjoy the whore, his wife, with the rest of the men. Muhammad, you don't mind. The advice is this, bro. You drop her in a heartbeat. Why is it confusing for you? What should I do? Leave this person. Allah will place him with someone better. Do you want your children to be raised in a house where your spouse is a fornicator? No, no, not fornicator. Fornication is if you're not married. Adulterer. This is worse. He had a wife to make love to. He had a, she, had, she, she had a husband to make love to. 
but she chose to do it in haram. This person, this is good. Do you really think a child, of a, 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 a parenting is going to come good in, in, in this kind of a household? Do you see it, Muslims, or are making things up? Muslims, did I make things up? Look what Muhammad said. Qal istam tabiha. Enjoy her. Enjoy her with the rest of the men. Look here in this hadith. The hadith is coming with better translation, more honest translation. I think what happened in the other hadith is translated by a different person. So this person is more honest. A man come to the prophet S A W S. My wife does not prevent the hand of man who touch her. Because remember, there's elements of cheating. Cheating is not all necessarily sex. There's cheating in terms of, I mean, cheating is all evil, and haram, and terrible. I'm just saying that you know to say that this was zina. That's that's a big thing. I mean, look how honorable this man is. Look how how he's really man. This guy is a real, a real man. You want to have as a husband, especially if you work uh, if you work as a hooker. He said, the prophet divorced her then. He then said, I'm afraid my inner self might covet her. He said, then enjoy her. <laughs> Very open-minded religion, brother. Muhammad, it's obviously Muhammad. He was a Democrat and he was going to vote for Hillary Clinton. Enjoy her. This is a prophet of God. A prophet of God, he is saying to a man, his wife is a whore, to enjoy her with the rest of the men who is enjoying his wife? Hmm. People who are willing to remain in a relationship with someone that they love, despite having been humiliated on such a level, should be worried that they are doing shit, maybe. I'm not saying it is, but it could be the case. Because if you take complete love and complete humiliation and you take it away from your worship to Allah and you give it to a human being, where you, you, you happen to complete love or completely humiliate yourself against that, in front of that person, then now you've done shirk and that person is your God now. But you see, the good thing about Muhammad, he is a person who speak a lot. And the more he talk, the more he do poo-poo. And poo-poo, is very helping in this religion it is the fertilizer for knowledge and if you want the easier way to to always find reference you can get my books from amazon.com and you will find list of books covering tons and tons of things in islam with a lot of reference endless reference so they will be always handy you will have an index and it's easy, easy for you to find all the information and i encourage people who uh, speak languages to tell people about my translated books to other languages like uh, you know in Netherlands French uh, German etc tell your friends even in Swedish tell your friends so more and people will learn about this cult because at the end of the day the more we have people who have knowledge the easier it is to fight this dangerous cult which might destroy your society your economy your security Already you cannot go in the airport. You have to go in the airport two hours before the flight just because of Islam. As simple as that. You are paying at least $150 tax for your airline ticket just because of Islam, for security.